YSK if your dog is destructive it's probably bored and needs mental stimulation. YYSK a lot of people get pups or dogs and after a while they get mad at their stupid dog for digging in the yard and or chewing things and destroying the house. They get rid of their dog. Well, with some exceptions listed below the dog is probably bored. It needs mental stimulation. It needs a job. Dogs can learn over 150 words commands as well as names for things and in addition to learning tricks other mental stimulation things include agility, scent work, disc frisbee, rally, puzzles, obedience, herding, probably a lot more, editing to add dock diving. A walk is not mentally stimulating unless it's in the forest and the dog gets to sniff a lot and has to climb over logs etc. Exceptions would be pups who are teething. Or some breeds who were bred to have things in their mouth and such toys have not been properly provided or perhaps some other mental issues but most times a destructive dog is owner failure. To note my daughter has a Pomeranian and we do agility and frisbee and scent work. The little guy is the happiest dog I know and sleeps hard after a day of fun. These things seem physical to us but a brain work to the dog. Give your bored dog a job and he she will be happy. Any recommendations for help with a corgi? This is the same with misbehaving cats. Most people don't play with or mentally stimulate their cats at all and complain that they push pots off shelves. YSAK not to buy a hyperactive dog and keep it cooped up in an apartment or house 24-7. Some dogs require a lot more attention and exercise than some realize. What job s can I leave my prospective dog to do on its own while I'm gone all day? What if my dog isn't destructive? Is he dumb? If your dog is destructive, it's just a reminder that dogs don't belong locked up inside all day. The more I read stuff like this, the more I realize how lucky I got with my dog. He's a rescue dog from Romania and he's the most laid-back dog you'll ever meet. Not destructive in the slightest he's an extremely low-energy dog and literally needs one walker. Day minimum and he's happy. Cats too. Things like tearing up curtains, knocking things off shelves, or trying to reach areas they normally can't get to are signs that your cat is bored and is trying to create their own entertainment. When our cat started trying to mess with the curtains we took that as a sign she needed some active playtime. She learned the association and now she sits under behind the curtain meowing when she wants us to play with her. It's super cute but also kind of feels like blackmail. I can play with you or play with the curtains. Your choice. 99 of all dogs' problems are resolved with exercise. Not a 15 walk a 1 hour good pace walk. Running. Swimming. Playing retrieving etc. YSK most people shouldn't have pets because they don't have the means or put in the effort to give them the care they need deserve. This, especially with working breeds. Usually same for cats too. When we got our last dog, my son had his cat at our house. When he moved out and took the cat, my dog got upset when he was left home alone and would deliberately take something of mine and chew it up. So we got a cat for him. And he was fine left home alone again. Same with cats if your cat is eating plants or scratching up furniture play with them da bird. Is the best cat toy I've come across. Lots of different attachments to make your kitty happy. Puppies need structure like babies. Nap time crating. Really trains them fast and keeps them out of trouble.
When they aren't sleeping. Playtime ice are must and. Potty breaks after water or food. This can also count as playtime. And breaks outdoors at least three times a day besides potty. Also a specific bed for your pup will train them to stay we say bed. Or lay and nap time for going in the crate. I used to be very against crating. After 2 GSD. It's a huge must to keep puppies from chewing. I always tell people all dogs need jobs. One job is indeed to warn us stranger danger but then it's our job to handle the rest. If the walk is long enough then it's definitely mentally stimulating. Assuming it's an actual walk and not just time on the treadmill. Boil it all down. We're all just dogs needing mental stimulation. The same applies to humans for real I was like that when I was a child. My parents always complained about me being naughty but they didn't listen when I told them it was. Because they were too strict and wouldn't let me play outside our backyard. Which was pretty boring. Till I learned I'm apparently somebody's dog. My dog's not destructive. But he does like to grab random stuff and run and hide. So that's when I started taking his toys and running and hiding from him. Confused the fuck out him at first but now we play hide and seek with his toys. Literally 50 toys hidden around the house. He brings them all back one by one. Is this him retrieving stuff? Yes. I have a border collie who is constantly on the go. We have a basket of toys that she rummages through. She will bring us things she wants to play with we play then she goes about her business. She has never torn anything up. Chewed anything. Nothing. She won't even play with my kids plush animals she has her own. She's always had a nice rotation of toys. Entertain your pets. I highly disagree that a walk is only stimulating while in a forest my doggo is tuckered out after. A 30 minutes walk when we are basically going at a snail's pace as I am matching his speed and letting him sniff whatever he wants. My problem is my dog only enjoys rough play. He only wants to fight. Which I'm fine with sometimes but if I try to, to do anything else with him he loses interest very quickly. Throw a ball and he will go get it a few times then ignore it while standing in front me growling. And snorting as if to say screw that fetch crap. Let's wrestle. He's that way with everything. I'm fine getting on the floor and fighting with him sometimes but it's the only thing he wants to do. Even if we are playing tug of war with his rope. He plays for a while then ignores the rope and just wants to fight me. Most times a destructive dog is owner failure. All of the times. Choosing to acquire an animal you can't care for. Including keeping it from getting bored. Is preemptive failure. That SA pet peeve I have. People leave their dogs at home alone all day when they go to work and complain when they destroy. Their home. What do they do? They cage them. Frankly. It is animal abuse and there is no mental gymnastics in the world that changes this fact. It is cruel as fuck. Tried to do a puzzle with my dog once. But he kept eating all the pieces. Seriously though. This is the number one thing pet owners should know and so many don't. Had a dog walking boarding business years ago and saw firsthand how it's astounding what good. Exercise and stimulation can do for a frustrated dog. I dogs sit as a side gig. Some of the dogs are nightmares. You've no idea how many times a day I mutter a tired dog is a good dog under my breath while throwing a frisbee for the millionth time. Or because you left tacos in the trash can on the bottom. A tired dog is a happy dog. More true for puppies. I wish my dog wasn't such a bundle of anxiety. She would be so good at agility. But the obstacles terrify her.